Okay. I want to show you guys something here. Um, this is off of 78 GMC K15. And this is front spindle right here. And see the uh, needle bearings in the inside there. And what I want to do is show you guys the uh, arrangement of the seals and the uh, thrust washer on this because uh, I looked on YouTube and it seems everybody just wants to show you how to take this thing apart and put it back on but the devil's in the details and I couldn't find anything on the direction of these seals and how they go in there. Okay, uh, one other thing worth mentioning here on these spindles, if you take these things off, you might notice there's like, like a gasket on here. Um, well, this is actually a shim to set the uh, camber. And if you take a look on this one, let's see, you can see how thin it is right here. And if you flip it around to the other side, you can see it gets kind of thicker right there. You can see how thick it is there. So it's important um, when you're taking these things apart, if you're going to clean them or whatever, make sure you put that shim back on the way you took it off. So again, that's going to set your camber. Alrighty. Now there's one seal, and I'll show you, I'm going to go over to the truck after I show you this. But, that needle bearing right in there, there's a seal for this needle bearing. And some of these will come with a metal casing on the outside. And it'll have to be hammered in with a, with a uh, tool to get it put in there. But if you'll notice on this thing, see how it's flat there? And it's got a groove right in here. Okay, that groove faces the outside. This flat spot goes up against that bearing race. Oh, I ruined this thing falling off the table. It goes against that bearing. Okay, it goes against that bearing race just like that. Okay, so we're gonna take a right walk over to the truck here. Okay, so here's the axle shaft. I just got it pulled out a little bit just so you can get a better idea. Okay, now this is how these bearings, or excuse me, these seals go on here. Okay, there's this big one here. It's got this bevel on it. It's flat right here. And you see how it's kind of concave, kind of cup shaped right here? Well, this flat end, right, this flat here, that goes up against this, just like that. Well, it's not staying in there, but you get the general idea. I'm doing this with one hand, so. But anyway, that sits in there like that. Now, the next thing is this uh, thrust washer. And it looks like it's made out of metal, but it's not. It's some kind of like a hard phenolic uh, uh, plastic. Okay. It's flat here. You can see there's a bevel right here, kind of cupped again. See that? That bevel goes up against this right in here. So the flat spot is going to be facing out, and this bevel is going to be facing what, what the uh, 
Chilton book calls the slinger. That metal plate back back in here that's connected to the, the stub shaft. See? So chamfer in, goes in, flat goes out. Just like that. And then of course last is to seal flat on this side. It's got like a groove right here. Like I showed you earlier, that flat side sits inside against the bearing, like that. So when you slide that spindle on, this seal will effectively go on to here and it'll seal flat up against that stub shaft right there. Okay, there you go. That's how these things go on. I hope this helps you guys out.